Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Well, I got my pile of gear out here with me today, and I'm out here to investigate something. This is a spot that I found a couple of weeks ago, um, and I think uh, probably the best way to kind of explain it is just to show you and I'll let you know what you're looking at and kind of where we're at. Okay, well, we are up here in Northeast Washington, where there's literally no one. <laughs> And well, we have a hole here, a hole, a hole, and well, this doesn't happen on accident, okay? We have another hole there, and what we're looking at, what people are digging in out here, um, we have this decaying granite diorite. You can see some larger feldspar in there, right? We got some mica books, muscovite. Uh, kind of some cooler muscovite that has that like a uh, fan appearance to it and some more pure-ish quartz there's some smoky quartz up here that I've seen um no smoke sm I haven't seen any crystals we do have some black tourmaline we have right in there and while there's lots of diggings out here. Now, this area historically has been known for its uh, giant, <laughs> air quote it, giant smoky quartz crystals. Now, where the heck are they? Um, we have a hole here, another, and there's a couple more out yonder. But that takes some serious work. Um, we're probably from top to bottom four feet or so. Um, people don't do this for no reason. And, uh, from the debris in there, it looks like probably nobody's been out here in at least a year or two, maybe more. Um, as I hunt around in the middle of nowhere looking for stuff, I came across this. Uh, so the plan here today is to do some serious digging, maybe some site cleanup, and see what in the heck people are digging here for. Because this doesn't happen on accident, you know? Um, ran into a spider web. Right, so this doesn't happen on accident. We clearly have quartz here. Is it worth putting in the effort? Well, is there crystals? Well, only way to find out is to pick a spot and do some work. So I think my plan here is I'm gonna do what I call hole drifting. Right now I'm standing in a hole and well, I'm gonna scoop out from one side, put it in the other side and uh, kind of do a little site cleanup if I'm not finding anything, maybe knock some of these holes down and uh, make it a little bit nicer than, well, I'm showing up to. But um, in the meantime, I'm gonna be using the GeoPick. Got a dehandled shovel and a quarter inch classifier. And well, I'm just gonna see what I can come up with. Maybe I'll come up with something good. Maybe I'll find some crystals. Maybe I'll find nothing. I'm leaning towards the ladder, but there's only one way to find out, right? I have opted to just kind of backfill this hole and uh, cause I feel like it's kind of digging in old, old workings the way the dirt and the rock is separated. But there's certainly some very clear quartz up here. Um, whether or not it becomes a uh, legit crystal or not is something have yet that I have yet to see. But I think I'm gonna work my way around here and properly fill this in. And uh, I'll kind of look at the stuff as I'm throwing it back in because it's rare that people get everything, right? Like there's always gonna be a little tiny, tiny piece that somebody misses. So I'm just gonna be keeping my eyes on it and uh, keep working at this. Certainly looks more gemmy, but definitely, uh, <laughs> Far from the world of uh, being a crystal, huh? But 
getting into some nicer quartz for sure. Uh, I'm just uh, going through that tailings that people left. Uh, we have some decent quartz. Let's try to get some sunlight here. We got some decent quartz. I mean, nothing really to write home about, right? Um, we do have some of this nice muscovite, which it looks pretty good once you clean it up, or it's like uh, this like feathered out fan. I like this piece. Um, and I've actually picked up a, a number of little rocks to uh, clean up and show back at the shop. But let's take a moment and talk about digging. Let's take a second, right? We're going to talk about digging. And we're going to talk about holes and the forest and all of that stuff. I'm going to try to be quick. We've talked about digging. We've talked about rock hounds not destroying stuff in the past. Uh, let's flip this around and let's kind of look at some of the anatomy of the forest and a hole and what is destroyed, okay? What you're looking at is a replant. All of this has been logged in the past. You can see some of these uh, down trees in here. You can see like that big tree was chainsawed. There's a big stump right there. There's big stumps in here and then everything you see is replanted. Now, if you've ever started a campfire before, you'll know, right? That this stuff is your dry tinder, right? This is destroyed, what you're looking at. This is destruction. Because when a fire gets near here, this will go up like a tinder box. This is a mismanaged forest. You can barely walk through it, okay? This compromises tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of acres of eastern Washington. This. Think about that. Now, let's look at this hole that somebody left, which is approximately, oh, 16 to 20 inches, um, and then maybe 24 inches down. Is that destroyed in comparison to what I just showed you? I think not. I think not. Now, um, what I did here was obviously somebody dug from there looking for something. Uh, they threw their tailings here on screened tailings. And I'll talk about a little bit about what I learned from taking those tailings and shoveling it into this hole. Now, there's some people out there want to, uh, I don't know, let's call it virtue signal about backfilling holes like it's a religion. And it's not, but um, if you are going to refill a hole and uh, tell people how to refill a hole, you should do it right, okay? So uh, I took that tailings pile and I threw it down here and I leveled it off and it kind of just blends. It blends, right? Um, it follows that natural path and we come down and you can see that we are pretty dang level. This would be more akin to site repair than just throwing a couple of shovels in a hole and uh, speaking uh, like you're the authority on uh, backfilling of holes. Don't do that. Don't be that person. How about that? Some of the stuff that I've learned from going through this stuff, and I'm going to maybe switch holes and do a little bit more, but I think this is good because People will show their wins when they're rock hounding, their, their best finds, all that stuff. They don't show this part ever. Or maybe people just don't really do it. I don't know. But um, generally speaking, out here in northeast Washington, people are chasing pigmatites. Uh, decaying granodiorite with pigmatites, uh, mica, uh, shoral, black tourmaline. That's where you're going to find your quartz crystal. Now, um, I've seen places before... Uh, that have quartz crystals, smoky quartz, that don't have all of those ingredients. I'm not really seeing a whole lot of pigmatite, um, which that's, oh, I'm a little like, why was somebody here doing this? Um, that mosquito, mosquitoes are eating me up, you know, here. Uh, why would somebody be out here doing this? Um, maybe they're just out here for fun. But uh, I'm going to switch into some of these other holes and just kind of like scrape the wall down and into the hole and see if I can find anything that seems even remotely promising because this is a lot of work somebody has done out here for for nothing and i think this is a good um lesson that maybe some you know just because you see somebody doing something it doesn't mean that there's any they're doing it with reason or knowledge or anything um so yeah let's uh look around and pick a new hole well right here by this hole we have this big piece of granite and you can see 
all you know we kind of have it's very coarse grained right like uh you can see some of the black tourmaline in there um here we go some nice mica in this a uh, little bit of a piece of quartz there i don't know i don't know maybe i'm chasing a ghost here very likely could be huh that doesn't seem like something I want to do. I mean, besides, we're kind of working under a, a mess here. How about, how, let's find another hole. So we also have this, but as you can see, there's nothing around this hole. They were just uh, getting rid of overburden. There's not even any rocks in here. What in the world is somebody up to? I mean, let's, let me hop in here. This is... All the mosquitoes in here. Um, this is not what I would consider uh, good diggings. I don't know how productive that was, other than kind of confirming what I already kind of had a gut feeling about, which was that the spot was kind of, I don't know, what the heck are people doing out here? There's a couple of other spots out here that I'm going to, cruise around and we're going to check out if I find anything significant or anything interesting. Camera's going to be back on for that. But uh, if not, well, you're going to see me back in the shop with the stuff that I did get cleaned up. We can kind of examine it and, uh, you know, try to logic out some of the stuff that might be hmm, going through somebody's head as far as why there, why here, what was the indication that this is a good place, you know? So, um, yeah, we'll leave it there. Well, I'm back from that spot. And before we really look at some of this, I have something extra cool to share with you. So stay to the end. Um, here's what I think is going on. Though a lot of stuff out there, right? It's just this, so we have this quartz, okay? We have some other stuff where it's more clear quartz, you know, like it's pretty, um, pretty uh, transparent stuff. I mean, you can just see my finger behind that. Uh, you know, maybe there was something good up there. Um, it sure doesn't seem like it. I have a theory, and that theory is that what we have going on here is at some point somebody started digging and other people followed, including myself. Because here's the thing. Usually when there's uh, actually good material at a spot, you will never find a, hmm, how to say this? It's extremely rare that you find a place that has good material that you'll find nothing. That just doesn't really happen. Um, now I'm not talking about your creeks and your beach agates and stuff, because things like that, that can get picked over. Um, but like deposits that you dig, you know? Um, Usually, if there's something, you'll at least find low-grade versions of it. So, like this, for example, okay, um, we have this uh, muscovite, which is, like, in this radial pattern. Let's maybe try a little bit more light. Maybe that's better. Anyways, um, it's nice in the sense that you pick up a specimen, right? But this is not, like, super amazing material, you know? Um, and neither is... A bunch of decaying granodiorite with uh, some, you know, black tourmaline in here. You're just kind of meh. Let me give you a great example, though. This is what I want to share with you, okay? So, um, on my way out of that location, which I think is complete bunk, like, there's no reason those holes are there. Uh, people are just digging for the sake of digging. I went to another spot that, historically, the, the area, the general area, because, you know, Bear in mind that we are uh, out here in Northeast Washington where there's very few actual mineral discoverers, rock discoverers, I don't know how else to say it, but people that, you know, just want to go out and go explore and maybe find something new. Well, <laughs> I found some amethyst. Look at that. Now, uh, me showing you these is not going to do it justice because they're so little, okay? Look at that little guy. But we're going to roll some photos in right now. And uh, these are actually kind of hard to clean because they're so little. But 
I'm getting on to an amethyst deposit, and uh, I'm going to find something good, I think. I, I can feel it coming. Um, you know, historically, there's been mention of amethyst in northeast Washington. Well, here's the proof right here. Here's the proof. You can find amethyst in northeast Washington. So, um, I just need to find a significant amount of it because uh, that is not significant. <laughs> well... That's going to be for a future video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I think it's a somewhat accurate portrayal of what happens occasionally when you go rock hunting. I mean, uh, they're not all going to be the best trips ever. So, uh, you know, maybe this led to a little bit more, uh, more questions than answers. But, you know, at the very least, I know that that spot is not the place to get quartz crystals. Maybe just some nice quartz. Maybe a specimen. But, uh... Yeah, I think we're going to leave that one there. Thanks for coming by, everybody, hanging out and uh, listening to me uh, chat. We'll have to catch you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching my entire video. If you like the content that I'm producing here on this channel and you want to support the content even further, you can do so by becoming a channel member by hitting the join button down below. The membership comes with a growing library of exclusive videos and just great other extra content. So I'll just follow the links down below and I will see you on the next video.